Perhaps you are wondering the significance of intentionally placing concrete on the sea floor. If so, I encourage you to ask these fish, this turtle, and this creature how they feel about it. I am willing to bet the animals would call this pile of submerged concrete home. Organizations like the Jacksonville Reef Research Team and T-Siri are very interested in the condition of such artificial reefs and are currently researching this site. Tasks involved in this JRRT project include mapping the reef area, conducting fish surveys, and observing the overall condition of the artificial reef. T-Siri divers have been participating in the project and filming the efforts. To map the area, a reference location is determined and marked with a fixed structure. This pinpoint location serves as a reference point in which measurements can be made. Diver groups tie a measuring tape to this structure and swim radial patterns away from it. As the divers come across structure, they make note of its location in reference to the tape. After several radials have been completed, the overall reef area has been mapped. Divers also make effort to photograph the artificial reef and its inhabitants as well as note the fish species and relative abundances observed. Several fish species have been observed as well as a countless amount of encrusting organisms growing on the concrete structures themselves. Observations conclude that this area of sea floor has been affected positively by the placement of concrete over 20 years ago.